What's up, yo? Big Cat 305 here. Today, we're gonna be making a simple breakfast on the Blackstone. That's right, a simple breakfast. I know there's a lot of new Blackstone owners out there, and this is a real easy starter breakfast for you to make, and uh, gonna make it real simple for you. So everybody, what we do here is we try to simplify the cooking process, make it easy and fun. Make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and ring that notification bell. Everybody, let's get cooking. So I've got this one on about medium, medium to medium high, and I've got this one on low. I know I did a video recently where I like the hot and fast method, but since we're gonna be cooking eggs right after, I don't want it too hot. Um, so we're gonna do just a medium, medium high. First off, we're gonna be using this Hormel Black Label Thick Cut Bacon. Just gonna do a four slices. It's just me and Mrs. Big Cat today. Man, there is nothing like the smell of bacon sizzling on the Blackstone. And it doesn't smell up your house, which is nice. I am one of those turn every couple of minutes guy. This is gonna take about 10 minutes, I'm, th I'm thinking. Turn down just a little bit. All right, let's see what we got here. Oh yeah. Looking good. Don't burn the bacon. So I do like to turn it quite often, especially when it gets towards the end, because I really don't want to burn it. And it can burn pretty quick on you. But I'm trying to get all these little white fatty parts cooked so you can press down on those spots. Gives you a little bit of an advantage. You can also use a bacon press. Um, never really got into those, but I know a lot of people use them. I'm sure they work great. We'll call this a spatula press. There you go. I just invented that. So I'm gonna cut this side off completely because I'm gonna slide my bacon over here and this will stay hot just from the ambient heat. Um, these are just about done. I like on mine crispy. So I let them get to a nice brown color all the way through. Get that white sizzling coming through. That's when you know they're pretty much done. Some white there. Let me show you what I'm looking at here. So you can see the white sizzle coming up. That's when you know they're pretty much done. All right, I'm gonna slide these over here. Looks good here. And then I'm actually going to cut this off completely so I can let it cool down. I'm going to use this bacon grease, but I want this to cool down because right now it's, it's pretty hot. I don't have my, my gun right now, my temperature gun. So I don't know what exactly what it is, but if I had to guess, it's probably like 400 degrees at least. We're gonna, we are going to cook in the bacon grease, like I said, because wow, the flavor. If I was just doing sunny side up, or just regular fried eggs, I would just get rid of the bacon grease for the most part. Uh, but since I'm doing scrambled, more flavor. What I'm actually gonna do is I have a pool of bacon grease over here. So I'm gonna try to get rid of some of the excess 
bacon debris. And then I'll pull this over here when it's time to cook the eggs. But we're gonna let it cool down for just a minute or two. All right, it's cooled down enough. If I can put my hand here and hold it there for as long as I need to, that means it's a good temperature. If I have to go, whoa, then it's too hot. So we're gonna crank this back up. And then we're gonna turn it to like a medium, medium, uh, about a medium, just to keep it, keep it, keep that temperature going. And then, like I said, I'm gonna pull some of this bacon grease over here. Cause it's like, it's literally liquid gold. <laughs> and we're gonna splatter that around a little bit. And then here's what we're making, scrambled eggs. This is the prep. It's, I don't know if you can see that. Uh, it's basically three eggs with some milk. Hold on, let me turn this so I can see. It's basically three eggs, uh, a little bit of milk. I'd say about a couple tablespoons. Salt, a little bit of salt and a little bit of black pepper. And then some Mexican grated cheese. There you go. So I left them like this just to see, you know, scramble them up, obviously. Get them to a nice consistency. And then put that down. And then as you pour them, they're gonna go wherever the griddle is leaning to. So you kinda wanna keep them in the same pool because we wanna make these fluffy. That's the key. So you want to make them into a pool like this. See what I did there? As it runs away, just kind of bring them in like that. There you go. And then I don't put the cheese till the end. And then as they cook, you kind of bring them towards the center. Like that. Bring them in, bring them in, and it'll keep cooking. Looking good. Now I'm gonna add my cheese. And now I'm gonna roll them around a little bit this and then you just cook them until your desired doneness but now it's nice and cheesy it's got that bacon grease oh yeah now I cut the power completely I'm gonna clean this up for a pretty thumbnail. And then we're gonna check it out. Look at that. Just like that. Now it's all pretty. Remember, that griddle stays hot for a while. So you can keep your food on here and you can serve right from here to your guests. So here's what it looks like. Eggs are looking good. Bacon's looking good. Oh yeah. All right, time to eat. <laughs> All right, super simple breakfast, but I thought I would do this because, you know, trying to help everybody out. 
Uh, it looks delicious. Uh, let's give it a bite. And again, I said you could serve right off of the right off of the Blackstone. Here's the eggs. Give you a little close up. I mean, come on now. <laughs> Those look pretty good, right? Yeah. Oh. Mm, sneak bite. Here we go. Hmm. Fantastic. I mean, come on. They're eggs. And cooked the right way. The bacon's still crispy. Ooh, still hot. Mmm. That crisp. Super simple breakfast. Super easy to make. Everybody, thank you for watching, liking, subscribing, and commenting. And we'll keep on cooking. Big Cat out.